Hello, ako po si Ginang White. Ang tuturo ko sa inyo ngayon ay ang meiosis. Bago tayo magsimula, tignan natin muna itong larawan na ito. So, bakit kaya na ang mga magulang natin ay may ibang characteristics o katangian bukod sa mga namana natin sa kanila? Ano kaya ang rules na kailangan ng ating um, katawan para maging unique ang isang individual. Lahat ng yan ay dahil sa proseso ng meiosis. Now, merong dalawang um, phases or um, parts ang meiosis. Una ay gumagawa ng dalawang kopya ng ating chromosomes, ang ating cells, that is called your haploid. Now, Um, ang trick dyan is um, yung chromosome natin kung baga kalahati lang. Kaya nga meron tayong nanay at tatay kasi kalahati ng chromosomes galing sa tatay, kalahati galing sa nanay. And sa meiosis, at the end of that process, apat na haploid cells ang produce And malalaman natin maya-maya, um, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng haploid cells? Now, bakit kaya natin kailangan ng meiosis? Of course, ang meiosis ay kailangan lalo na sa mga sex cells. Of course, ang sex cells ay galing sa babae o lalaki. Sa babae, yan yung tinatawag nating egg cell. Sa lalaki naman, yan yung sperm cell. And for each of these gametes na tinatawag din nating gametes, kalahati ng set ng chromosomes ay galing sa nanay or sa egg cell at ang kalahati naman ay galing sa tatay o sa sperm cell. And of course, pagka kinonceive ang anak, yung anak will get these sets of chromosomes. Kalahati sa nanay, kalahati sa tatay. Now, ang proseso ng meiosis ay important kasi dyan nangyayari yung uniqueness ng isang individual. Dahil yung mapoproduce na sex cells ay may iba't ibang katangian. And of course, it contributes to a lot of what we call genetic diversity. Ibig sabihin niyan ay yung pagkakaroon ng iba't ibang combination ng katangian at of course yung individuality ng isang individual o sa isang tao na of course um, a result of assortment. Kumbaga parang o oh, ito magiging matangos sa ilong mo, ito magiging um, dark skin or light skin and so on and so forth. And of course, ang genetic diversity is important dahil, of course, um, sa proseso ng evolution, which I um, I think I have a video there that hopefully um, napanood na ninyo na. Now, ito ang isang magandang synopsis or summary ng meiosis. First, yung parent cell ay mayroong two sets of chromosomes and of course, nakopya, there is a copying involved. Once makopya, ang first part ng meiosis ay magsisplit into two daughter cells and sa second part ng meiosis, it ends up producing four new gamete cells or sex cells na kalahati ng original na chromosome. So, titignan natin ang iba't ibang parts or phases ng meiosis. So, ito ang um, live example under the microscope of how meiosis takes place sa um, testes ng mouse or sa um, male mouse um, wherein at the end of meiosis, apat na haploid cell ang produce. Now, ang stages ng meiosis ay tinatawag ding reduction division. So, parang uh, meron kang isa split mo sa apat. So, yan ay also called as reduction division. Now, ang unang phase ng meiosis ay what we call interface. At dito nagkakaroon ng replication or pagkopya ng two identical genetic material which is also called as your sister chromatids, na um, held together by your centromere. And the first phase after the interface is your prophase. Now, ito ang pinaka-importanting part ng meiosis part 1 kasi dyan nagkakaroon ng what you call crossing over. So, pag nagkaroon ng crossing over, kung nakikita nyo sa um, larawan na yung two sets of chromosomes ay magkakadikit at magpapalitan ng um, hibla ng chromosome. At dahil dito, nagkakaroon ng variety ng chromosomes or chromatids na madidistribute sa apat na 
sex cells na produce after meiosis. So, ang tinatawag natin dyan ay um, crossing over. Now, as soon as crossing over is uh, is done and over with, um, the next phase is called metaphase 1. So, nandito na nagla-line up yung chromosomes kasi nag nagpe-prepare na silang maghiwalay. So, yung um, ating homologous pairs na tinatawag, which are the pairs of chromosomes, dyan na magsisimulang maghiwalay ang ating um, chromosome pairs. And as soon as they lined up in the middle, ang susunod niyan is unti-unting maghihiwalay ang um, homologous chromosomes. And of course, the sister chromatids um, will still remain intact and of course, move at the opposite pole. So, magmove siya sa magkabilang dulo ng ating cell. And of course, parang um, if you are familiar with mitosis, so parang the same process din yan. Except, yung homologous chromosomes natin ay maghihiwalay na. And of course, eventually, it's gonna stretch out and of course, the cytoplasm will develop forming two new daughter cells. And of course, the two new daughter cells will have variety of um, chromosomes in your, replica in your replicated um, chromosomes sa new cells. But of course, hindi natatapos ang meiosis sa cytokinesis which we produce too kasi nga, yung dalawang cells na yan ay magde-divide further. So, cytokinesis after the two daughter cells are formed, of course, um it will move on to the second part of meiosis. Now, the second part of meiosis, of course, will come in right after cytokinesis and it's not gonna stop there. Pero, bago tayo magsimula sa um, second part, which is, um, I'll show later, this is the summary of what happened during meiosis 1. First, chromosomes duplicate and then, of course, these homologous chromosomes will pair and exchange segments. Then, nagsisimula yung assortment ng characteristics. And then, of course, moves to the middle so that they can separate into two new daughter cells. And, of course, it will um, result into continuation of meiosis number 2 or part 2 wherein the sister chromatids will separate. So, para itong um, the same as mitosis. So, walang interface na nangyayari dyan na nagkakaroon ng changes sa chromosome because they will stay as the same way as it was sa part 1, sa end ng part 1 ng meiosis. So, the first part of your meiosis 2 is of course the prophase 2. Na kung saan yung daughter cells natin ay attached sa spindle fiber kasi dyan na nagkakaroon ng um, paghihiwalay ng ating sister chromatids. Now, as soon as the spindle fibers form, sila yung maghihila. Itong parang green um, spikes na yan. Yan yung maghihila sa ating um, chromosomes na maghihiwalay going to both ends or sides of the cell. And of course, as soon as the chromosomes are attached to the spindle fiber, they will move on to lining up sa gitna to position themselves para maghiwalay. And of course, it's the same as the old um, a process of mitosis. Now, the next phase is your anaphase 2. Dito na naghiwalay yung um, ating sister chromatids. Dahil hinihila na sila on both poles of your cell. And of course, eventually, it will lead to telophase 2 and cytokinesis. So, eventually, yung two new daughter cells will split into two, so two plus two, you will end up with four haploid cells. And of course, the completion of that is, kung makikita ninyo, bawat isang cell na naproduce ay may iba't ibang variety ng chromosome. So, dyan mo makikita yung, ah, yung isang sex cells na yan, kung itong first cell na ito ang na-fertilize ng sperm cell, meron siyang certain unique chromosome set na, of course, mabibigay ng nanay. And of course, sa side ng tatay naman, if this is a different set of chromosomes, pag nag-combine siya to conceive a child, syempre, magkaiba ang characteristics ng anak, um, ng unang anak sa pangalawa dahil sa variety na ito. Now, let's summarize um, the stage of meiosis 2. So, yung dalawang daughter cells na produce natin sa meiosis part 1 will split ending into four new daughters, daughter cells with, of course, um, four different um, combinations of 
chromosomes. Now, one way that makes lots of different sex cells um, is your um, independent assortment. So, yun din yung um, uh, sinasabi ko sa inyo na um, maraming possible combinations na pwedeng um, maibigay o maipass on ng magulang sa anak. Um, in humans, kung meron kang 23 chromosomes. Alright, so yung sinasabi kong independent assortment, yan yung um, different combinations na pwedeng um, maproduce ng gamete cells. So, in humans, kung meron kang 23 from the mom, 23 from the dad, iba't ibang combinations na pwedeng um, magsama-sama, kumbaga, combination of that. So, it has 6 million combinations. That's a lot of combinations na pwedeng um, maproduce to produce a certain um, individual. So, here's an example. So, possibility 1, kung itong sets of chromosomes na ito will separate, of course, you'll see two sets of combinations. And of course, possibility 2, kung meron kang um, blue, red, and then red, blue, um, then of course, pwedeng magkaiba ang um, combination na yan. Another way to look at it is yung crossing over um, process na nakita natin sa pro phase 1. Um, dyan din nagkakaroon ng variations or pagkakaiba ng um, characteristics ng ating chromosomes na pwedeng mabahagi sa atin ng ating mga magulang. So, that is um, meiosis. Now, kung makikita natin yung difference ng mitosis at meiosis, sa left-hand side, makikita nyo na yung mitosis, it ends up with two daughter cells. And, my Mind you, um, yung two new daughter cells na mapoproduce sa mitosis ay identical. Okay? At sa meiosis naman ay hindi identical. Magkakaiba sila at the end of the process. So, ang key difference ng mitosis at meiosis ay usually the unique pairs align in meiosis. And of course, dyan natin makikita yung distinguishing um, characteristics na unique sa meiosis at sa mitosis usually happens in our body cells. So, of course, pagka nag-divide ang ating skin cells, syempre, yung mapoproduce skin cells pa rin. So, yun ang kakaiba. Now, if you look at mitosis and meiosis here in the summary, in terms of genetic replication, makikita ninyo na parehong mitosis uh, and meiosis. Um, in mitosis and meiosis, um, the interface always comes first. And of course, sa number of divisions, it includes for mitosis, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And for meiosis naman, parang dalawang parts or part 1, part 2. Now, walang nangyayaring synapsis or crossing over sa mitosis whereas sa meiosis, meron. And of course, at the end of mitosis, dalawang diploid cells na identical ang mapoproduce. Whereas, sa ating meiosis, merong apat na haploid cells na of course, will have different genetic information. And lastly, ano kaya ang role ng um, mitosis sa katawan ng isang animals? Of course, sa atin, just to make it um, very simple, na when our skin cells die, the new ones will divide, uh, will be, uh, of course, a product of old cells or skin cells that divide. Same is true with growth and tissue repair. So, nagkasugat ka halimbawa, mitosis is, of course, the way to go for the skin cells to regenerate. Whereas, sa meiosis naman, this usually happens in um, gametes or sex cells, egg cells and uh, sperm cells. And, of course, the number of um, egg and sperm cells is cut in half, of course. Course, it also um, contributes to the genetic variability ng gametes, which of course ultimately gives us that uniqueness pagka ang magulang natin ay nag-conceive ng anak. Sana may natutunan kayo sa ating um, maikling lesson, actually mahabang lesson, um, about meiosis. And credits to I Teach Bio. And so thank you, I Teach Bio. I'll see you in class. Bye!